Welcome back to Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. Set sent me to go speak with Grace in Caroline's room, but before that, while heading there, I noticed this new place that wasn't open before. Hacker Central. I think this is our new friends. Damn. Face. Did they all set this up in the past couple hours? Hey, Blaskowitz. Nick Doors. Hello. Yvonne Nesman. What's up, Addy? These fucking radiation scars on my belly. It's like a motherfucker lately. Takes all my willpower not to scratch. Well, they got this amazing scientist here. Set, I think it was. Go see if you got a soothing ointment or something. I don't know, Laney. Don't want to bother him with a fucking itch. And that fucking monkey cat, or whatever it is, just freaks the shit out of me. Aww. And you thought we had a freak show with Super Smash back in New York. Ooh, remember when he told the story about he and his daddy went looking for space aliens in the desert and ended up nearly dying of thirst and had to be hospitalized because of all the blisters? <laughs> Man, I tried so hard not to laugh. I miss New York sometimes. May have been a radioactive hellhole infested with Nazi pigs. But it was home, you know? <laughs> At least it's safer here, sister. Every day we stand alive is a victory, you do. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. I like that there's just a loose hot dog just sitting on top of folders right there. So what are they writing? Code of some sort. Some sort of vaguely hackery looking thing. You good, Captain? These people got some serious skills. Like, who who are they? I mean, are they all hacking yeah, experts? Nice boat, man. Oh, connects to the the helm. Or whatever this place is called. Central place. <laughs> William? What? I feel like you've been avoiding me. What's wrong? Talk to me. Look at me, Anya. I'm the damn tin man. How am I gonna get close to you? I don't care. We'll figure something out. We always do. Huh? Hey, why, why won't you at least try? Because I'm fucking dying. You don't know that! What, you can see the future now? Don't act like you know things you can't possibly know! Well, the toilet works. Especially, are you still here? You need to haul ass back to mission control and get all your ducks in a row. Mm -hmm. Now the Haas 2 helicopter is spinning up in the hangar, and it'll get you as far as Galveston, but from there, baby, you're gonna have to improvise. Dynamite, boss. Blaskowitz, head on up to the hangar and make sure that Haas 1 is mission ready, all right? Caroline, I fucked up and told her. Turns out, 
The hurt I tried to spare was mine, not hers. It really does just seem irrationally completely convinced that he's gonna be dead. That he's useless without the suit. He's... <laughs> he's barely been awake without the suit. It was what, maybe 20-30 minutes or something that he was without the suit before he put it on and he's been in it ever since? Before that he'd been asleep for... How long? Was it months? A long time. He hasn't even tried yet. Such a sad character. Uh, okay, uh, the hangar bay. I remember that was always locked before. Obviously it isn't now. I think it's somewhere like up here. Stick knife in the side of Nancy's stomach. Just slightly to the right above the pelvis. Then, twist knife to destroy their insides. Doesn't feel too good, I can tell you. Like the approach, lady. Now, why that place, specifically? I learned this when I was a child, when surgeon had to cut out my appendix. Pain was so sharp, I felt like my eyes would explode. What? Didn't the hospital give you anesthetics or some shit? No, hospital in Muonia. Just barber man, with bag full of knives, who also was surgeon. After he asks, Ritva, why you don't cry? <laughs> I told him, why cry when someone is saving your life? Yeah, you're a badass motherfucker, people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's up here. when the bomb fell. Being deep underground, trapped, feeling Mama's hand, or holding on to it. Yeah, but on the upside, there's no radiation, no Nazis, hidden from the world. And we're safer than we've been in like forever. I know, I'm being irrational, Huey, but I can't control it. The feeling of being suffocated, it feels like I can feel the dust clogging up my throat. The heat from the first wave and the screams. The fucking screams, man! Hey, come on, girl. Just breathe. Try to breathe. <sighs> you okay, sister? I'm okay. I'm okay. I've gotta get used to this. I like the little conversations that happen around the ship. They're nice. They're Good well to done. see you, brother. Looks like I need more diesel. Are they ref yeah, there's a refueling station. It's cool. I wonder if that's a way to sort of force you to use one of these refueling stations so that you know you can use them. Not surprisingly. Not surprisingly, this aircraft takes a lot more fuel than I can hold in a gun. <laughs> Actually, I'm surprised it's even making a mark on this thing. Chopper's fat and sassy. Should let Grace know. All set. Helicopter's good to go. Thanks, man. I think it's time we had a gathering. Enter and pass up through the gates to attain to the 32 paths of wisdom. I, but in reference to what? Hey, little star man. Are you ticklish, buddy? Max! Jesus, Max! I didn't see you there. Look, Max, I'm doing some, like, really heavy reading here, and your little toy robot is just not compatible with that type of soul journey, man, okay? Max, off. Max, it's all right, pal. Look, this just is way too complicated for you. Why don't you go play with your pig or something? See, I'm trying to find the reference to these gates here, and... Ugh, you just would not understand. Max Hoss. Max, this is really advanced philosophical <laughs> literature here, okay? You can't just start pointing to... <sighs> Max, that's it! How did you... Need you in the helm, Wyatt. 
All right, y'all. We got some hell to raise. You got a boat full of newts, and I got a target. Fucking good one, too. Woo! Right on, boss. Yeah, that's where it's at. That's cool. All right. I dig. Quiet. Please be quiet. Check it out. I sent Specia ahead to this hometown of Roswell, New Mexico, to prep for the mission. Now, there's a tunnel that's accessible through Specie's hideout that will take you straight into the Nazis' top secret underground base where they're experimenting with some sort of wigged out alien technology. That's well, New Mexico, you said? This is one of ours. What do you mean? One of yours? Yeah, wouldn't you like to know? So you can send coded messages back to your pals in Berlin? No! What the fuck is she even doing here? Grace, why she's good people? She's a fucking Nazi. On your boat. What were you saying, Pops? Hmm? Hmm. That secret base you were talking about was constructed by us. Das Jürgen. One of our biggest safe keeps. It was located here, underground, near what is now Roswell, New Mexico, but it, it existed for a thousand years, long before America got subjugated by the Europeans. It contained technology related to anti-gravity research, something that could easily turn the tide of war. We gave the U.S. government access to it. Unfortunately, it was too late. America fell. The Nazis took hold of our safekeeping. Shit. That's not gonna sit well with Speci. He had his bet on space aliens. He once saw a ship that crashed back there in 47. So what do you want with this place? Know what the Oberkommando is? Yeah, baby. That's where all those big shot jerks running the Nazi war machine hang out. Yeah, well, the Nazis moved it into your safe keep set. So whatever it is is so important that the whole upper echelon of the Nazi leadership left Berlin and set up shop in New Mexico. This is why you need this for. What on earth is that? This is a portable nuclear bomb. We're gonna take out the Oberkommando, cripple the Nazi leadership, and destabilize the fucking country and let the people know that the fight is back on. Blazkowicz, load up. I'm sending you to Roswell with this. Roswell is out of helicopter range, so we'll drop you off by the coast near Galveston. From there, you will catch a ride to Roswell. Rendezvous with Super Special at Papa Joe's All-American Diner and plant the nuke inside the very heart of the Ober Commando. Then, you blow that shit the fuck up. Okay, Blaskowitz, look for Papa Joe's All-American Diner. Meet Super Special inside the restaurant. Do not break cover. Okay, this is pretty fucking badass. So, <laughs> I'm pretending to be a firefighter so I can walk around with this tank that looks sort of like a fire extinguisher. I don't know if firefighters just walk around with fire extinguishers. I don't. I don't think they really do that. But um, it's got a nuke inside of it, and we're going to freaking Roswell, New Mexico. Oh, this is ridiculous, but I love it. Also, there is the Ku Klux Klan, or some members of it, rather, in front of me. Right, someone was saying that the Ku Klux Klan, I think it was Grace that was saying this, had uh, taken over in the the South after the Nazis took over. I wonder if the KKK is explicitly Nazis, or do them and the Nazis' goals just sort of align? I don't know. I mean, who the fuck cares? I'm going to kill him anyway. Back off, citizen. Okay. Back off. Just, there's a fire over there, but... Alright. So, Americans. Are you going to the concert tonight? Oh, Jeff here is. He's a, a big fan of DK for ancient Jeff. Oh, the music makes me happy. What's wrong with that, Wayne? Nothing wrong with that, Jeff. I like your style, Americans. Very good. You're part of the Reich now. Subject of the Great Führer. I hope for your sake you consider the Reich and all its glorious people your own. Yes, of course, sir. Mm -hmm. sure. Let me give you some free advice. You are witnessing a new dawn for America. 
you have a choice in this new world because the time will come when, how do you say, the wheat detaches from the chaff. Have you taken your German lessons? Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good. You, how do you say thank you in German? Oh, of course, sir. Let me see. It's, um... Yes. Dank, dank. Yes, out with it. Dank, dank. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> was that all right? No, that was terrible. You're butchering my beautiful language. It's danke schön, verdammt. Say it. Uh, danke schön? Incorrect. Danke schön. Danke schön? I've heard enough. No more. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm still practicing. You will practice hard. Oh, I will, sir. And I am so sorry. Okay. So, no, I don't think the KKK is generally Nazis, although I'm sure some of them are. Just similar goals. They both hate black people. I feel strangely short. Like, I'm not crouched. Actually, no, it looks like I'm crouched, but I can't seem to uncrouch. Hey, you. Hey, you. You want to know a secret? Mm -hmm. Well, I won't tell you, because you're a fucking Nazi traitor. Uh-huh. But you, I can trust. All those Nazi scum will die like boom! <laughs> That's right. Fucking assholes. What are you looking at? Fucking Nazi loving scumbags. You gotta blow them the hell up. Chase them out of this town. No, no. Oh. Planet. Then they can all what was that? Ah. Far, far. Jesse Love. Oh, wait. Hell hole. Star Spangled Daily. Roswell Cinema Schedule. 4th of July, 1961. Oh, 4th of July. The movie theater Roswell is showing the following movies today. A Time for Change. A heartbreaking movie about an ordinary, convenient store clerk. I think it's supposed to say convenient store clerk who struggles to convince his fellow Americans that change is necessary for the white man's survival. <clears throat> How the West was saved. Joe and the Robot Dog. That sounds like a good one. Hmm. It's got a robot dog, but they're standing up against communism. Who want the communist boss who wants to create a multiracial workforce. Okay, well, I like the dog part, but like nothing else about that. America, the new order, coming soon. Love in a time of terror. Have a nice movie watching experience, y'all. What are these? Oh my god. Kaltes Bier nach Dienstschluss und Welt ist in Ordnung. Hey, ich lade dich heute Abend ein. Die haben nur diese winzigen Ami-Gläser. Das ist so amazing. I think I might actually get to drive them too. I think I've seen something in the controls that references some sort of a bike thing. Might be that. Ich liebe dich, Allison. Ich liebe dich. No. No. Just a firefighter. I got today's news for you right here, mister. Only one Reichsmark. Say, mister, you look familiar to me. Are you some kind of celebrity? Mister, you... Oh, God. If you are who I think you are, I just want you to know I am behind you all the way. Good. 
Well, if you're behind me, can you just give me a newspaper for free? Because I don't have any of your fucking Nazi money. Oh. Victory Day Parade, biggest in history, 4th of July. Wait, so this... That's today, isn't it? So we're... <laughs> we came to Roswell, New Mexico on the 4th of July. Uh, the... Burgermeister of Roswell said today that the Victory Day Parade planned in Roswell would be the biggest in the history of the city. Since the city was liberated by our beloved fear from the oppressive capitalist and dictators in Washington, the city has been celebrating Victory Day every 4th of July like everyone else across the American territories. I usually buy myself one of those salty pretzels and watch the might of our German protectors as they march on by, said Jack Childress, a 45-year-old store owner. I try to get a glimpse of the Panzerhunden. But you gotta find a good spot for that with all them people coming out to watch the parade. Look at you people. Celebrating your own destruction. Just listen to that lovely marching beat. I'm so happy you Germans brought some culture to this country. Kamadat ne Neidner? Did I pronounce that right? You really must correct me if I didn't. Oh, d just a, a bit more practice, Father and Edda, and you will pass the test on changeover day with the highest marks. I just couldn't stand all that primitive jungle music they used to play. Jazz and rock and roll. Quite ver... ver Schrecklich, <laughs> like you would say, right? <laughs> yes, good, Fräulein Edda. You know, I see... These I people. Fuck I these people. on a date yet but soon you're invited of course auntie oh that's nice dear give my regards to your father when you return to the farm oh and tell him i'm putting some hard-working slaves up for auction this week if he's interested hmm. you'll be cocktails i'll tell him auntie hmm. bye now Love okay you, dear. slaves right yeah of course ah oh, the diner is where i'm supposed to meet Joe's special all american diner my kind of dive. Hold on, I gotta look for secrets first. Matthew Develt. Don't mind me, folks. Just strolling around with my nuke. <laughs> Shit! I, I mean, shoot! Just let it go, honey! Was hast du heute gelernt, Peter? I don't know. Stuff? Practice your German, dear. You will need it. Was denn für Sachen? Das der Führer ist ein großer Autor und Maler. <laughs> Sehr gut, my Junger. Bobby told me that the Führer painted the Mona Lisa. And that he made the atom bomb. And then he put my head in the toilet and flushed it. That's awful. Someone should teach young Bobby some manners. You can bet you're behind his mother won't do it. I want you to promise me you'll stay away from him. Are you listening to me, Peter? Now, pick something from the menu. <sighs> Wish the secret police hadn't taken away the help. When will he ever get home-cooked meals again? Mom, can I have the chili? Sure can. Yes! If we ever get service in this godforsaken place. Oh my god! It's a little Roomba. It's cute. Hold your horses. Sir, please have a seat at the counter. I'll be right with you. Ma'am, what'll it be? We're about to close, unfortunately. Oh, it, it's to go. We'll be quick. Let's see. Uh, I'll have the... Blazkowicz. 
Especially knows you're coming to attack the Overcommando, but he has no idea you bring in a damn atom bomb. You gotta break him the news. Hello? Come on, Peter, let's go someplace else. But, Mom, we no have any butts. Oh! Peter Schill. Doctor. Good day, ma'am. You, one strawberry milkshake, please. Okay, anytime I'm undercover and then Nazis come around, usually something goes wrong, like I get stabbed in the hand or, you know, something bad like that. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. If so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, Commandant. One strawberry milkshake coming right up. Fireman, I recognize your face. Very Do you? face it is too. Are you out of station one? There you come, up. Oh, vielen Dank. <laughs> mm. Now you, show me your identification papers, please. I love strawberry milkshake. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. So simple. It's just milk and ice cream. The rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. I think it needs to be more German. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Are you from here, John Smith? Huh? I read here that you operate out of station six. What is the location of Station 6? I'm unfamiliar with this station. Speak up. Commandant, Sie werden vom Oberkommando verlangt. War das nicht Zeit? Trink gerade noch meine Erdbeermilch. Leider nicht, Commandant. Das Oberkommando verlangt, Sie umgehend zu sehen. In Ordnung, ich, ich komme schon. Not that I don't trust you, Blaskowitz, but there's nothing saying you couldn't be wearing a mask made to look like William J. Blaskowitz to hide your alien space lizard facial traits. So, I mean the password that Grace gave you. She didn't give me one. Right. Off with the mask. Show me your lizard face, motherfucker. Super special. Lower your weapon before I break your arm and put your lights out. I knew it was you, Terror Billy. I was just fucking with you. Come follow me. Fucking weirdo. So, um, welcome to Mission Control. That's, I haven't had much of a chance to clean up around here. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's, um, good stuff. This shit right here. It keeps the signals from getting through. Very effective against alien mind reading devices. How's Grace? Good. Baby Abby? Fine as cream gravy. Christ, I miss her. Even the pissing in the face part. You know? I mean, maybe I miss that the most. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> so what have you been doing down here, Super Special? This place? My papa and me used this place to collect all the evidence we could find of the government cover-up. Cookie? Oh. It's been, been more than a decade now. Uh, summer of 47. I was the same year I quit working as a lawyer. In the year I joined the Black Revolutionary Front, after I got Grace acquitted from that murder charge that the goddamn FBI pigs trumped up against her. Anyway, one night, Papa heard something on the police frequency, and he brought me up north to Murphy's Ranch, where we found this flying saucer-like thing that crashed into the ground. And wouldn't you know it, the U.S. motherfucking military swooped in and quarantined off the entire Peru. Gave us some kind of bullshit story about a weather balloon. <laughs> they were lying out of their asses, because we made off with some actual hard evidence. Here, take a look at this. 
Huh? Pulled that baby right out of the crash site. Now, does that look like something that came off a weather balloon? This place is where we kept the records and started surveilling what the military is up to. Papa built most of it. So you reckon what you saw was a spaceship? I'm, I'm not saying it's a flying saucer from outer space, but it was clearly extraterrestrial in origin, if you catch my drift. It's all fucking connected, man. If you trace the chain of causation, you find yourself in a secret underground facility about 10 clicks east of Roswell, up by Bottomless Lakes, Area 52. Our government captured an alien flying saucer, and they stored the salvaged bodies and technology in an underground vault. Everyone was involved. The FBI pigs, the military pigs, even the goddamn King President Pig himself. Check this shit out. What? Area 52, Area 51, over here, Area 48, Area 56, all over the Southwest. Nevada, New Mexico, it's one gigantic complex and it's connected by underground train tunnels. <laughs> look, look, look at the pictures. Plasma guns, mind control, anti-gravity engines. And after our coward ass government surrendered to the fucking Nazi pigs, our new masters took over all these bases and they kept doing their own experiments to, to further their own fascist agenda. Look at this. This whole thing is the Area 52 military compound. Up here, it's the, the Nazi head honchos installed the fucking Oberkommando. But down here below, there's a cavernous vault full of all kinds of weird ass technology, alien shit. It's, it's all down there. Now, I haven't seen it myself, but it's there. Well, whatever it is, it, 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 it ain't Martian. Okay, all right, all right. We, nobody knows for sure exactly what kind of technology we're dealing with, but it's most likely space alien based. It ain't space aliens. I talk. How the fuck do you know? Are you, are, you, are you some kind of expert on all things extraterrestrial now? Look, I've been a lawyer a long fucking time, and I know a motherfucking conspiracy when I see one. No, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens. So, I got a nuke in this here fire extinguisher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cool it. I did not mean to rile you. Grace told me that you know a way into the Oberkommando. You get me in there, I will use this nuke to blow the top brass of the Nazi leadership to smithereens. Yes! Yes, of course! That sounds so good. I'm here to help. Papa dug these tunnels to the underground train system that connects all the top secret military bases. This tunnel goes right to Area 52 Cargo Train Loading Depot. All right. Now, you should put that nuke in uh, this backpack to keep your hands free for shooting. All right. Lots of Nazis down there. And other things. Now, I'll keep in touch on the radio. Help you out. Hey, stay frosty, Blaskowitz. I am really intrigued what is going to be there at Roswell, New Mexico. Also, I love how quickly and fearlessly this game just turns on a dime and suddenly takes you to a completely different area than I could ever possibly imagine myself being in. I mean, we were on a U-boat. And then now we're down south going to Roswell, New Mexico and walking through the streets undercover as a fireman with a nuke, walking around as, as Nazis and the KKK celebrate the 4th of July. I mean, it's a lot. It's a very big change. Keeping things fresh. All right, I think I'll end this episode here. So I hope you've enjoyed so far and I'll be back soon.